Hi there, it's Jody, and welcome to episode four of Tuesday Tips. Today I'm going to be talking about our Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. So I'll just kind of put it this way so you can see the whole thing before I start using it. So it's nice because it measures 12 inches along the arm here that lifts up. And then there's this piece that you can extend all the way out to 17 inches. So it's a really big space that you can cut. Honestly, most of the time, I have the arm down because I usually don't go beyond six inches, but it's nice to know it's there if I need to. So the most basic thing that you can do with our trimmer is obviously just cut cardstock. So this is a full sheet of our thick basic white. I'm putting it at five and a half and just using the cutting blade to cut that in half to make a card base. Pretty obvious, straightforward, right? Now I'm going to twist it and put it on four and a quarter inches. And this time I'm going to use the scoring blade. So the darker color blade is a cutting blade. The lighter color is the scoring blade. The scoring blade, when I run it back and forth, won't cut. It will make a scored line. So hopefully you can see where that line is. It's a little bit hard to tell on uh, white cardstock. So I'm going to scoot that out of the way just for a moment. Take this card base, use my bone folder to give that good crease. So especially when I'm using our thick cardstock, the basic white or the very vanilla, when I use the thick cardstock for the card base, I always score it because it is heavier and that way I don't get those bumps along here when you just take it and fold it in half. So that's how I often use scoring. I use the scoring blade a lot when I'm making little um, boxes or anything with a special fold in it. It's so handy to have that scoring blade right there that you can line up, use the measurements, score from one point to the next. So now what I want to show you is something with the cutting blade again. This is a piece of four inches by five and a quarter inches, just jade cardstock. And I stamped with Versamark a little bit on the background here. And what I want to do with this is to create a frame. And that's what I love using the paper trimmer for. So I'm going to do this so that you can see my measurements way up here. I'm going to take this side and put it over here to the one inch mark. Okay, so you see that? I'm taking the edge, putting it at one inch. Now, on the cutting blade, there's this little triangle, and then there's a line on either side. That marks where the blade is. So I'm going to put this down, and I'm going to line up the blade with the one inch mark. Okay, is that showing? I think it is. Okay, so one inch is where I'm starting my blade, and I want to go down and leave one inch at the bottom. So because this length is four inches, I'm going to start at one, and I'm going to cut all the way until I get to three. So I want one inch on top, one inch on bottom. Then I'm going to twist the cardstock, again, line it up at one, start here at one inch. This time, this length is five and a quarter, so when I go down, I'm going to stop the blade at four and a quarter. So I want that line to line up with four and a quarter. Twist it again, line it up at one, cut from here down to three, and then one final time, line it up at one, start cutting at one, and go down to four and a quarter. So now when I lift this up, that center just pops almost pops right out to make this frame. Let me scoot this out of the way just for a moment. So now I've got this frame, and if I pull back that white card base, I can easily attach this frame and just stamp my greeting in here. Now sometimes you can you know, just use your adhesive and stick it flat. It's also fun to raise that up with Stampin' Dimensionals. It just draws a little more attention to the fact that it, that it is a frame. But it's really easy to do. The biggest thing is just deciding how large you want your frame and then keeping that measurement on all four sides. So setting it, if you want a half inch frame, you set that blade at a half inch and go all the way down until a half inch from your end. Twist it, do the same on all four sides and you'll have a frame. So let me show you a couple of cards that I did with this idea of a frame. These both use designer paper. 
And this actually, you can see the difference in size. This is one of our note cards and envelopes. So our standard card with the medium envelope is five and a half by four and a quarter. This one is three and a half by five. And you can get packages of note cards and envelopes together. So those are pretty handy. So anyhow, back to the frame idea here. This one on both of these is more like three quarters of an inch. And so instead of starting at an inch and going down to an inch from the bottom, I started at three quarters and went down to three quarters from the bottom. Did that all the way around. These I attached flat. And then as you can see, just stamped the greeting on the inside. So it's a really, really easy way to have a special look on the card but just a really quick and easy way, especially with Christmas cards, just to duplicate a lot of cards. So that is a fun way to use the frame. I have another card here I wanted to show you. This one I did on cardstock, like the sample that I showed here. There is some Versamark stamping on here, but it's so dark, the cardstock, the Blackberry Bliss, I'm not sure that you can see it. But this is just a half inch frame all the way around, and I love how it looks on this card because you can still see those stamped leaves coming through from the back. These are raised up on dimensionals, as is the entire frame and the label. So that frame on there just adds so much, and you really wouldn't get the same effect if you put a full layer of Blackberry Bliss there. You wouldn't have those leaves from the back coming through. So that is my quick tip for you today. Play around with that a little bit. Create some frames, whether you choose to do it with cardstock, with designer paper. If you need to refresh and go back and watch this quick one more time, the Stampin' Up paper trimmer makes it really easy. That line, this is going to be your, your go-to right here. That line is where you're going to line up with the ruler here. So have some fun. Give it a try. I would love to see what you make. Go ahead and comment with a photo of what you make right here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.